can't stop saying it. So, um, <laughs> some, uh, normally I don't share drafts, but I love you all so much, so I'm going to share one. I, um, this piece is prob probably going to become a song, and I, uh, this is one I'm having trouble coming up with the title. So after the reading, if you have any ideas, let me know. I've, I've heard one so far. It's called The Capsule of Her Mind. So I, I like it, but I like to see what everybody else has to say. So it's just untitled for now. I wrote this one day after Valentine's Day. <clears throat> I'm wearing evening gusts. They force down tales of Genesis. Last drops of dew hit my tongue. I follow as a hypocritical nemesis. On dawns of autumn, she dedicates herself to revolutionary Kabbalah, giving herself over to the mysticism. Her counterpart of confusion plays ancient matches of Mankala. Awaiting a silver lining, chaos eats the very last detail. Slumbering under the golden mountain, sentient beings sniff out secrets to unveil. On intoxicating morning breaks, they ransacked what was left of the mind's prison. First lights of freedom streamlined my face, only to see that the liberation sun has risen. On dusks of winter, she isolates herself in open-ended letters, sprawling across rough drafts of love. All prior emotions aside, she remains unfettered. Even though the walls of silence scream out their own epitaphs, nothing will keep the mute one from learning. Scimitars thrown at the dome's glass, never cracking its vulnerable points. The tombstone's chi will never stop burning. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> so, two of you have already heard this, Enrique, Ashley, sorry, and I was actually going to read this at the Flash Fiction reading, but with the fear that I would not be able to get through with a straight face, it might just ruin it, so I'm just going to yeah. <laughs> so, this is called Three Little Pigs, as read by Christopher Walken, but I'm not going to read it like him and shame myself and everyone around me. Hello children, are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. Once upon a time there were three little pigs and they each decided to build themselves a house. Now the first little piggy was a very lazy little piggy and he built his house from straw. The second little piggy was not too bright either and he built his house from twigs. But the third little piggy was smart. He was no dunsky. He built his house from bricks. Smart piggy, oink oink. <laughs> anyway, in the same village there was a wolf. It's a big wolf. Bad wolf. Big bad wolf. Get the picture? Also this wolf, he loved pork. Pork sandwiches, pork pies, pork scratchings, bacon, buddies. If it had pig in it, he loved it. Now Wolfie sees the three little houses with the three little pigs in them and he thinks to himself, pork city. Wolfie goes to house number one. Wolfie knocks on the door. But it's a straw door, so how he knocks on it, I don't know. Who wrote this? But hey, knock knock anyway, right? Who wants to hog you? In his most polite voice, Wolfie says, Little piggy, little piggy. <clears throat> little piggy, little piggy, let me come in. No, says the little piggy, who knows a wolf when he sees one. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So now the pig has a chin. What do I know? So, let me in, says the wolf, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. No, says the pig. No, no, no. But Wolfie is a wolf of his word. So he huffs and he puffs and he blows that house away. Exit pig one. Pig two, same story. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Arrivederci poco numero due. Buongiorno salami. I like this wolf. He's not freezing his ass off hunting snow bunnies in Alaska. He just goes to pigs' houses and blows on them. <laughs> so Wolfie stands outside the house of piggy number three and they assume their battle positions. Let me in. No, no! I'll huff and I'll puff. Go away! Okay, you axed for it, piggy. Wolfie is huffing. Huff, huff. Wolfie is puffing. Puff, puff. Woof, vada boom, nothing. This is a brick house they do not blow over so easy. So Wolfie gets himself a ladder, climbs up onto the roof. Piggy sees him climb onto the roof. Wolfie makes for the chimney. Piggy lights a fire in the grate. Wolfie goes down the chimney, he burns. Wolfie burns, Wolfie burns, and Piggy lives. Happily ever after. That's it, what can I tell you? Next week, Hamsel and Gramsel. <laughs> So, <laughs> round two, Miss Danielle. Oh,
Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. It's like I think we should do it between like Elmo and like Mickey Mouse, but they're pigs. Uh -huh, like, that doesn't sound good. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, you really should read it as Christopher.